Hi guys, so today I'm going to be starting a new series uh, and basically it is a, re a review of a monster that I have um, basically how I would use it, how to ruin it etc and today I'll be starting off with Beretta uh, this is like a suggestion from one of my friends and uh, this is like the first monster that well, I gave him the, fir the first choice of what uh, what, what to re I will review, and uh, well, after a few bit of, bit of a discussion, we settled on Beretta. Now, Beretta is uh, one of, one of the better monsters for you know uh, progressing through the game for newer players. So I think this is a very suitable like way to start it off. Uh, I'm sure most people know by now that Beretta can be fused, so this is a farmable monster. Um, and typically people will recommend you to build Beretta when you're about to start your Dragons team. So the first thing you want to do, get your your fodder farmer up, get your Dragon, oh sorry, get your Giants team up, and then you look at units for units for Dragons. Now these are the stats that I have on my Beretta. Um, they're fairly good stats. Um, I've got pretty good despair runes. He's quite fast. Um, and fairly decently tanky. Um, you probably won't, wouldn't be able to get this, you know, very early on, but you can certainly do it with lesser stats as long as you have the main, like the correct main stats. And the main stats I'm talking about is the two, four, and six uh, rune slots. So first off, slot two, very standard. You want to go speed, right? The, the more turns he has, uh, the quicker he can uh, use his damage over time skill. Uh, this one, the Phoenix Fury. Alright, so speed is very important. Uh, definitely get sp slot 2 speed. Slot 4, uh, you should get go for HP. And slot 6, also go for HP. Now, some people, like, you can do s accuracy slot 6 if you want. Um, typically, I, typically, I don't recommend it because, especially I, I, when you're starting off, your Beretta is going to be struggling with uh, survivability. That's the main thing. So I think HP is more, much more important than trying to stack up accuracy. Accuracy is useful um, for certain uh, TOA teams, but I'll get to that a bit later when I show you um, how he's used in TOA. But for Dragons, I think you want to go for survivability and speed. That's the most important thing. Um, and the spare runes are preferable. And you should be getting some decent despair runes once you've got your giants team up if you can't get despair rune like good ones um, or a good set then you can use swift as well because you, uh, you, you farm swift and despair from the same area um, so you should be able to get those and focus is a pretty good offset as well just for the accuracy and also for the ease of of, of, of obtainability right? you can also use energy like any offset it doesn't really matter what offset he has. Um, just go for stuff that gives you good stats, right? So speed, HP, and accuracy probably the main stats you'll be looking for. Now, just to show you, this is the basically the, the very basic starting team that I recommend for dragons, and uh, this is probably the first instance of when I used Beretta. I used a very similar team to this. Uh, when I first did Dragons, I believe I was using Ariel instead of Megan, but not everyone has has Megan, uh, but she does still work for beginners, so, and she's much more easier to obtain. Right now, when you're using this sort of team, uh, you want to set your attack order on your, on, on your boss, right? So you should go for uh, left crystal first, right crystal, and then boss, okay? Now this is not necessarily like a very fast kill, but it is uh, pretty safe. And um, you know, the first thing that you want you want your dragons is uh, you want your dragons to be successful first before you you worry about speed. Once you have a consistent you know success rate, um, even if it's taking you five minutes to clear, at least you're you know completing it and you can get. You can get some good potential runes, right? 
So to explain the team, Beretta is there to, to, to dot, dot everything up, right? Um, and particularly for the towers at the boss, right? Um, now Brian is here, uh, which is the Wind Death Knight in the middle. He's here as um, basically insurance policy. Because when you get to the boss, um, if you accidentally kill one of the towers um, with a, like a direct hit, rather than damage over time, which is what, what no, you, you're rely, relying on Beretta, Veramos and Megan to do damage over time to kill the tower. Because the tower has a lot of HP, but the continuous damage is a fixed amount of the health. So it's much easy, easy or oh, it's pretty much the only feasible way to kill the towers. No, but, but sometimes you might get um, the tower really, really low and you accidentally kill it with a physical attack, even though you guys don't really do much damage, but eventually you, you'll encounter that that that, um, that scenario. And as an insurance policy, you bring something that can revive whatever unit gets hit by the counter-attack. Um, I think it's yeah, this disaster skill. So when a tower gets destroyed, um, he'll counter-attack and it does a lot of damage, probably about from memory, like about 30,000 or 35,000 maybe. As you can see there, my Veramos just got counter-attacked and he died straight away, right? And then uh, Barayan is there just to um, make sure that your team's still alive, basically, right? <clears throat> now, to sp eventually you can probably get away with only killing the right tower. Right. Um, if your Veramos is fast enough, uh, then you can just kill the right tower and then go for the boss. The right tower is the one that does the immunity, um, and once it's down, it's much easier to kill the boss with dots. Right. Otherwise, the the, the tower will cleanse all the dots, and um, he'll, and then you won't be able to do anything else to him. Right. So from here, it's much easier. And yeah, I, when I first did this, obviously my units have mu had much worse runes when I did it. Um, so it's, it's it's definitely something. I feel I feel this is probably the safest sort of team to build. Not everyone will open up Brian, but you can also fuse the Water Undyne, uh, which is also a, re a revi reviver, and that works too. Any if you get any other reviver, that's that can be built really tanky um, then you can run that because the idea is if the reviver hits the tower and kills it then you want your unit that unit to survive so Brian when I built it he was triple HP and he could survive a tower hit or oh, sorry the counter attack hit now the other area that Beretta is commonly used is t uh, tower of ascension TOA Alright, so just to show you, this is uh, the team that, well, this is a very similar team to what I normally auto with. Normally I auto with um, Ariel instead of Chasun, but not every, well, I think Chasun is a lot easier to obtain than Ariel, so I think more people will be able to build something like this for an auto team, right? So this is a very tanky team, you can, uh, as long as your, your runes are pretty good on them. You know, you want like good quality ones that are, have grinds like stats that are grinded, and like prior to raids coming out, this team could order probably up to around floor seventy something on TOA hard. Um, once once I could, was able to grind up all my runes, um, made them, obviously made it everything much easier. I probably auto. Uh, well over 90% of TOA hard now, and it's definitely achievable uh, as long as you, you know, focus on your rune farming. And yeah, this team can even auto some bosses. Uh, obviously, if you manual it, it'll be even safer. But the idea is, Breda is Breda kills everything with dots. Veramos also does uh, kills things with dots. Uh, Brian is he, he's really good for the attack debuff uh, AOE and obviously choose for heals 
Bernard can be any unit. It doesn't have to be Bernard, but uh, um, I think Bernard is he's just good. He, he speeds up your team, um, and he's just a good all-round unit. If if you find your team is dying, you can replace Bernard with something that buffs um, like a defense buff, like a basalt. Talc, Shannon, Megan, anything that can be built tanky, right? And they that that would work too. And so that's just a quick example of a uh, a tanky version of you know, a TOA a TOA team. But I'm just going to show you another way to use Beretta, and Beretta will can also be used in like a mass crowd control team, right? So uh, I'm just going to put like the units that you can use. They all depend on what you have, right? There's a lot of ways you can build a crowd control team. Uh, but the key unit that you want... Uh, where is he? Uh, this this uh, penguin, right? This penguin works... It's called Mav. He works really well with Beretta and any unit that has l like long cooldowns, right? And that's because this skill reduces the cooldown by one turn when he uses it and it's fairly quick like it's only it's only a three turn cooldown and so that means he can be used he uses it very often all right so you, you it's much easier to, to build a crowd control team based around the, like um you know having a penguin in your team and you can use stuff like uh, um, like a bomber uh, i don't have a i don't have a bomber outside of my storage so i'm just gonna not worry about that, but you can also use things like uh, Spectra. Right? Um, Spectra is uh, one of the units I want to talk about in a future video. Uh, but he, he's really good in here. Uh, stuff in, stuff, uh, even Wuchi is very nice in here because he's got um, an attack bar reduction. Right? That's another way to control the, ma the amount of times that opponent is going to move. Right? Um, Actually, just very quickly, I'm going to take out the bomber out of my storage just to show you. Now, like you can fuse Jojo. He's a he's a um, you know farmable bomber. Oh, that's fine. I'll use the stage. Oops, my bad. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now let's put the team back in. So you can use something like Tyron is good for the freeze. You know, anything that's like AOE and stops the opponent from moving uh, is good. You can also use the um, either the Dark Grim Reaper or the Water Grim Reaper. They also work because they also give dots and that speeds up the, the, the time that it takes to clear a stage. So it's got Malaka and we can do... Okay, this guy, right? Uh, I'm just gonna make sure this is like a team that you would use to manual TOA. Right? Any stage that you can't tank through, you want to bring a, a crowd control sort of team, right? And there's many, many ways to build it. You can use mass, mass, mass bombers. Like you can use two or three bombers with the, this sort of team. Beretta is a nice like staple in this sort of team because he's got um, he's got. Uh, two turn dot. Oh, sorry. Two lots of dots on his third skill, and um, his second skill is also a good reset in case there's a straggling unit that you can't like you can't stun or it's about to move, right? So to explain this, uh, this this skill, Phoenix Fury, it's two two lots of dots for three turns is quite good, especially when you can keep refreshing it with Mav. Or other similar units like Jemaya would be good with it. He also gives speed leaders, which is very important. Um, if you don't have a, something like a Jemaya, then Beretta's speed lead is still 90%. It's still quite nice, All right? And then this second skill is good for you know, if there's like a unit that's not frozen or whatever, you can stop him or try to stop him from moving. And then if you put despair on him, uh, this skill. Uh, has a chance to dot everyone. Oh, sorry, stun everyone as well as dotting them. And yeah, like despair works really well on on Beretta for that purpose. Um, it's he, it just adds extra utility on him, right? So 
typically you start the battle with Phoenix Fury. Now if you have like an ATB reduction unit like Wuchi or Thorad, you can use their third skill to reset, gives you buys you more time. And if you have something like Spectra with AoE slow, then you know you're getting a lot more turns before they do. Right? So you have plenty of time to you know, keep everything under control like this. Alright, well that, well that did not quite work because see there's one unit that didn't get frozen, right? Now you play bombs. Just keep in mind when using bombs, you want at least one unit that can have that has like a crowd control unit uh, or mass crowd control effect like Tyron, right? Because you have to wait a turn for it to finish um, to finish or to tick down once and then the next turn they get stunned right so if you're using mass bombers just keep in mind you still want at least one unit that can um, you know make sure everything is stunned now, I'm, I'm failing very hard on that spectra in the middle so uh, he might be moving oh damn right see that's a pretty clutch um, despair prop from Tyron uh, if that failed, and then he, that guy might one-shot my um, Wuchi, for for instance, then I'll probably just have to restart. Right? But you can, as long as yeah, you might get into situations where you're unlucky, right? Um, with uh, resistance stuff like that, it's just the nature of the game. Uh, just keep trying. Like you, eventually you'll get through. You know, once with um, especially when your whole team is built based around them not moving you eventually will get through a stage and yeah I think that about covers it so let's just this is just an example of what you like what you could do if you're struggling to pass any particular stage obviously there are some stages where they might have uh, units that are immune to crowd control it's very not very many like for example if there's a the water lich he can't be frozen or anything so for those particular floors you probably be looking at units like Wuchi that reset attack bar rather than for, like relying on stuns and stuff and just like stop them from moving basically okay so I think that about, about covers covers it for Beretta uh, definitely a unit I highly recommend he's good in both you know early game mid game and late game um, I, sh I use it I use him you know all the time for TOA okay so thank you guys for watching I'll do more videos like this um, with other units that I have and if there's any unit you in particular you want me to cover just let me know and I'll get in, get around to it at some point all right so thanks again for watching I'll see you guys in the next video